Welcome to another Fortinet video. In this video, we'll see how to set up your FortiGate appliance to use the Fortinet Dynamic DNS service to make connecting to your site easier with a simple fully qualified domain name. First, let's have a quick look at what Dynamic DNS or DDNS is and how you can use it. Say you have a small branch office which uses dynamically assigned addresses or DHCP to connect to the internet. Your IP address is controlled by your internet service provider and could change every week, every day, or even every few hours. Keeping track of your changing IP address can make it difficult to make inbound connections to your branch office site. With a dynamic DNS service, you register your FortiGate UTM appliance with a special DNS server to link your current DHCP address with a unique, fully qualified domain name or FQDN. Then, whenever you get a new DHCP address, your FortiGate automatically talks to the DDNS server to update the IP address for your FQDN. Now when you need to connect to your branch office, you just use your fully qualified domain name, which gets resolved by the DDNS server. There's no need to check the currently assigned DHCP address. The FQDN for your branch office is kept current by the DDNS server. With your valid FortiCare support contract, your FortiGate UTM appliance running FortiOS 5.0 can use the FortiGuard DDNS service, which can be configured easily through the FortiGate management GUI. Support for third-party DDNS servers in 5.0 is via the command line interface, and you can refer to the instructions in the System Administration Guide available on our documentation website, docs.fortinet.com. To set up your FortiGate to use the FortiGuard DDNS service, Open the Global or Top Level System menu, go to Network, and then the DNS screen, and click on the checkbox to enable FortiGuard DDNS. Then, select your Internet Connected Interface. You can choose from the available domains provided by FortiGuard DDNS in the Server drop-down menu. Then enter your desired name in the Unique Location field, and that will be prepended to the dynamic domain. Note that traditionally, DNS names are case insensitive and can only contain ASCII characters A through Z and the numbers 0 through 9 plus the hyphen. Clicking on Apply will let the FortiGuard DDNS service check if that name is available and uses valid allowed characters. And when the new name has been registered with the FortiGuard DDNS service, you'll see the FQDN along with the assigned IP address corresponding to the current DHCP address of your selected interface. You can now verify that DDNS is working by using a utility like DIG or NSLOOKUP to check that your FQDN resolves to the correct IP address. Now your FQDN can be used instead of typing the IP address, which simplifies things like setting up VPN connections for your Road Warriors or another branch office where they can now simply enter an easy to remember FQDN for the gateway address that will automatically stay up to date with the DDNS service. This concludes this video on how to set up dynamic DNS for the FortiGate UTM appliance. For more videos, check out video.fortinet.com. If you have any feedback on this or any other videos available on the video site, you can contact us at videoguides at fortinet.com. Thanks for watching.